Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back into the video day and today the Lakers are drafting Bronny James 55th overall in the NBA draft and uh yeah man I I you know I, I don't hate the draft pick because you know someone else someone last night told me as this as this selection happened yesterday two things that this does or, or you know two things that you know may really made me think okay this is not a terrible draft pick. The first thing that was said to me is that this draft pick, even though it's going to be dangerous because he might not be a good player, it helps you re-sign LeBron. That's one thing because LeBron's going to be a free agent. He's, I think he, even though they've still drafted Bronny James, I still think he's going to decline his player option to potentially get more money. I don't think he's going to accept that player option. I think he wants a longer-term deal. I think LeBron wants a three-year deal. I think they're willing to give it to him. But in the Lakers' minds, you would have to think with the potential chance of LeBron leaving, drafting Bronny gives you a better chance of re-signing LeBron. And then the other, per- the other thing that this person told me is that why why is everybody complaining about you know LeBron having his son on his team and you know Bronny James being on the Lakers when you got the Milwaukee Bucks and, and Giannis Antetokounmpo having his brother the uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo on their roster, and you could argue that you know. Giannis's brother Theonis is just as bad as Bronny is. I mean, look, I'm not gonna. I've heard people say, you know, Theonis was a first round pick before, uh, bef- before Giannis was even relevant. I agree with that. You know, Giannis's brother coming into the NBA had talent. He was a first round pick with the New York Knicks, a late first round pick, I believe. He had talent, but what has kept him in the league is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Let's be honest, if Giannis wasn't good, or if he wasn't even in the NBA, Antetokounmpo would have, the Giannis Antetokounmpo would have been out of the NBA years and years ago. We're talking, I mean, probably five years, if not longer, uh, you know, ago, the Giannis would have been out of this league. So, I mean, I know people give hate toward the Giannis as well, because he's trash, but Look, I think Bronny James is a way better player than the Giannis Antetokounmpo is. I, I really do. Uh, I don't think Bronny's going to be a great player in this league, um, especially if, if he won't go to the G League or if he won't sign a two-way contract because most players have to grow, and that's the way the way to grow in this league is going to the G League if you're a draft pick now. Look, I'm a Rockets fan. Last year, we drafted a Min Thompson fourth overall and Cam Whitmore, 20th overall. Cam Whitmore was a guy who was expected to go in the top five or the top six. No one saw him going higher. And Min Thompson was a top four pick. And someone, some people thought he could go number two or number three. But at some point, both of those guys had to go to the G League and play. If the, if the fourth overall pick and someone who was the 20th overall pick and was viewed as a top five, top six guy have to go to the G League and play a couple times in the G League, the 55th overall pick, even though if he's LeBron James' son, has to go to the G League, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, I, I really think that, you know, I, I really believe that even though I think this is just all draft because you, you, you guarantee or not, I, I wouldn't say guarantee because this is, it has been said LeBron is not, it's not, you know, LeBron will go somewhere else if, you know, he doesn't have to have Bronny on his team. So can you can you imagine if LeBron just decided to go elsewhere? I don't think he's going to do that. Um, but at the same time, this helps you re-sign LeBron. It wants him, even though he already wanted to probably return to Los Angeles, he already was pretty sure on going back to the Lakers. This helps you re-sign LeBron. And you, you could try to develop him. I don't think he's going to turn into a great player, but I think he actually has a chance, unlike someone... Who has been who's who stayed in the league for years because of their family member and Theonis Antetokounmpo, uh, because he, he he's a solid defender. Uh, he definitely could turn into a decent shooter if they work on his shot. So he, you know he and he you know he has the best person you know teaching him how to play in this league and his father with LeBron. So you know I'm I'm interested to see how things work out for him. I'm not too I'm not too believe I'm not too hopeful in him, but. I, like I said, I think for 55th overall pick, it's not terrible, um, but I don't think it'll end up well for this Lakers team. But at the same time, if he ends up being terrible, it's going to turn into, you know, the honest Antetokounmpo thing where he stays on the Lakers or stays on, stays in the NBA because of his brother. 
uh, well, this one would be because, because of his dad, not his brother. Let me know your thoughts on the draft pick for the Lakers in the comment section, and peace out.